In this video, we'll go through all the sums related to heat and specific heat. So let's start with this first one. Suppose the masses of the calorimeter, the water in it and the hot object made of copper which is put in it, that is the calorimeter, are the same. Okay. So first, when you're reading this sum, just try to understand what is given. The masses of all the three objects are the same. Okay. The initial temperature of the calorimeter and water is 30 degrees Celsius and that of the object is 60 degrees Celsius. So when we read the sentence, we understand that the ob object is hotter than that of calorimeter and water. So the heat will always flow from the hotter object to the colder ones. And the heat transfer will keep happening till all the, the temperature of all the three objects become the same. Okay. Then the specific heats of copper and water are 0.09 calories per gram degree Celsius and 1 calorie per gram degree Celsius. So that means for copper it is 0 0.09 and for water it is 1. What will be the final temperature of water? So let us write all that is given to us. So the first statement was the masses of all the three objects were the same. So let's say for calorimeter we write. So M is the mass. MC is the mass for the calorimeter is equal to mass of the water which is equal to mass of the object. So all the masses are the same. The second one was the initial temperature of the calorimeter. So initial temperature let us say Ti. Okay, So Ti is equal to 30 degrees Celsius. And that of the object is, so we'll say it as TO. TO is equal to 60 degrees Celsius. What else is given? The specific heats of copper. So specific heat is denoted by small letter C. Okay, so we'll write CC. That tells us specific heat of copper is 0 0.09. Whereas the specific heat of water is 1. And what is to find? The final temperature. So let us denote the final temperature Tf is equal to question mark. Now it's asked that what will be the final temperature of water. So instead of writing Tw, we can write Tf. The reason being, as we discussed earlier, that once the final temperature of the water reaches to some state, it is also clear that the temperature of the copper vessel and that of the calorimeter will also be the same because the heat transfer will keep happening till the temperature, the final temperature of all the objects become the same. The formula for the heat transfer in case of calorimeter is, it's very easy to remember, QO that is the heat lost by the object, okay, will be equal to the heat gained by the water plus the heat gained by the calorimeter. Q denotes the amount of heat the amount of heat that is lost by the object since it is hotter will be equal to the heat gained by the water and the calorimeter. Okay. Now, so what is the formula for the heat received or the heat gained? It is going to be QO is equal to mass into the specific heat into delta T. Delta T is a change in temperature. Now, since we are writing object, we will just right here mo and co okay so let's substitute the values in this equation so qo is equal to mo into co into delta t which is equal to what is m qw again it would be the same that is the mass of water into the specific heat of water which is 1 into delta t so this is 1 plus QC. So that will be mass of the calorie meter into the specific heat is 0 0.09 into delta T. Now all the masses are same, right? So we can just write M in that case. Okay. So this will be M into. Now since the object is also made of copper, the specific heat of the object is also going to be 0 0.09 into delta T. Now, how is this derived? So, delta T 
for the object is going to be since since it is hotter okay its temperature is 60 degrees celsius it's going to lose lose the temperature that means its final temperature that it will reach will be less than 60 so we'll write that is the greater temperature 60 minus the final temperature tf because it is it is going to reach to this level into let's denote this m so this is again going to be m into delta t is going to be for water so for water it's going to gain the heat okay so so it will be final temperature tf okay minus 30 so since its initial temperature was 30 it's going to gain heat till till what amount that is tf plus for mc let us write m into point zero nine into for the calorimeter also it, it is going to be the same the final temperature would be tf minus 30 wherever you have see where for water and the calorimeter they are going to gain the heat therefore their final temperature will be greater than 30 whereas in the case of the object it is going to lose the temperature okay therefore 60 minus tf so if we solve this equation you will get 0 0.09 m bracket 60 minus tf if we open these brackets we get let's remove m common okay so again what remains here is tf minus 30 plus 0 0.09 tf minus 30 m and m get cancelled okay now let's just open these brackets so we get 5.4 and then we have 0 0.09 tf is equal to tf minus 30 plus into plus is going to be plus so we get tf 0 0.09 okay minus into plus is going to be minus let's get all the like terms together so you have 5.4 okay let's get 2.7 on the other side so it will be plus 2.7 and then you have plus 30 if you get on the other side this is equal to tf plus 0 0.09 tf okay and this is going to go on the other side so it will be plus 0 0.09 tf so here we get 38.1 is equal to when we add this we get 1.18 tf okay so 38.1 divided by 1.18 let's remove the decimals okay so when you remove one more you just add a zero here so you divide 3810 by 118 so when you divide this you get the answer as tf is equal to 32.29 now this is temperature so its unit is going to be degree celsius so there's an easier way as well to solve this entire equation i'll just quickly show you now on both the sides you should see you know you have your multiplication that means this entire thing is one term in this case you have a plus sign in between right so this is one term and this is the second term so let's see what all is common in on this side in both these terms you have m common so that comes out okay and you also have tf minus 30 common so you can take that out as well okay so if you've taken both these what remains here is one okay so then you have one plus sign one remains common plus sign and m we have already taken out common so what remains is 0.09 okay and on this side you have m into 0 0.09 bracket 60 minus tf now 
Now M and M are common on both the sides, right? So now here you have one point zero nine. So here you have one plus point zero nine will give you one point zero nine, and then you have this bracket. So you can open the brackets on both the sides and solve further. It would be the same as what we had solved earlier. So once you open the brackets and you solve it further, you'll get the same answer that is TF is equal to 32.29 degrees Celsius.